Engineers love spattering their documents with Greek letters. It helps to keep out the riffraff technicians, and it's like well, the codes that early alchemists used to use when trying to conceal their activities, converting lead to gold. Any electronic journal would be plastered with mu's, lambdas, phi's, and omegas. But what do they mean? Explaining these is a whole lot easier now you understand about standard format scientific notation. You don't buy 4,000 grams of grapes. You buy 4 kilograms of grapes. And you walk 3.5 kilometres, not 3,500 metres. The K is a prefix for kilo. That means 1,000, or 1 times 10 to the 3. A short period of time could be a millisecond, that is, 1,000th of a second, written 1 ms or one millisecond. Your memory stick may be 64 gig, short for 64 gigabytes, 64,000 million bytes. Note how with large numbers we break them into blocks of three to avoid mistakes and separate them with commas. Large numbers tend to use capitals. The K in kilograms is an exception, but we like exceptions. Small numbers tend to be in lower case. Typical prefixes are T as in terra, a terabyte used in disk sizes. 10 to the power of 12. G, as in giga, a gigabyte, typical size of a USB stick, 10 to the power of 9. M, as in mega, a megohm, a large resistor, 10 to the power of 6. K, as in kilo, a kilogram of grapes, and should be a capital, 10 to the 3. M, as in milli, shouldn't millipedes have a thousandth of a leg, 10 to the minus 3. Mu, as in micro, as in micrometer, the limit of a practical distance measurement, and the only example in this video to use a Greek letter now I come to study it. Anyway, hey-ho. N, as in nano. Can't think of anything other than millimicro or kilopico, and if this makes sense, you really have understood prefixes. P, as in pico, as in pico farad, the smallest common capacity you'll experience in this project. Here is the full table, as stated in Wikipedia. Notice the confusion of what billion really is. 